Oh my goodness, this makes me happy. Hey guys, welcome to the Cuba Kitchen Journey. Today we're going to be showing the secret center cake pan. So here are a few pieces that comes with it, okay? So these are the pan itself and uh, they are not dishwasher safe, sad face, but Here's the thing, they are extremely easy to clean. I just used both of these and uh, they have not been washed. I don't think, I didn't wash them. They've been dried, okay? They come clean very, very easy. I just tip them out. You're gonna see how I get the cake out of these. Tip them out, fall off, super easy. I love the non-stick on it. But here's the thing, two pans. You're going to see why we use two pans. This is the secret center part that you will put here, all right? But if you want a center in each bite, this is it, all right? The secret center for each slice, which here we made one. You're gonna see this one, it's open. You can also do it double layered where the center in each bite is hidden as well. Let's check out how this pan worked. Now we're gonna show what the secret center cake pan can do. Okay, so we're going to do strawberry cake with chocolate ganache. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to butter our pan. And I don't know if you really need to butter it all because it is non-stick. I have other pans with the same material and nothing sticks on it. But we're gonna butter this one and see how it goes. And we are going to put a little bit of flour in there. All right, our cakes are floured and buttered and our oven is preheated to 325. Let's get the batter done. So we are going with a strawberry box cake, just a box we picked up at the grocery store. And just follow the directions on the box. Our box mix is just a powder, three eggs, half a cup of oil and one cup of water. All right, we're going to pour it, split the box between the two pans. All right, and we are going to bake it according to the box. So we'll be baking this for about 20 minutes. Here we are, we are going to take our cake out of the oven and see what it looks like. So we gave it a couple minutes and let's see how they come out. Whoa! That's what I call non-stick. Let's see if this one does the same. Ah! All right, so we are going to get it ready here. You have the centerpiece. Whoop, that's still very hot. Don't do this or you will burn yourself. But there you have it, a cute little cake with the hole that you're going to fill and hide with the top one. So here we are, we're going to set this aside and work on our chocolate ganache. All right, so we have here a chocolate ganache that my wonderful husband made. It's equal parts heavy whipping cream and chocolate chips. We use semi-sweet chocolate chips. And the frosting is just a store-bought uh, cream cheese frosting. So we are going to put our ganache in the center and then the, the frosting is gonna go on the top. So first we're going to fill our hole with ganache. Oh, that looks good. When you cut into that, that's going to be a very pleasant surprise. Then we're going to get our piping bag. So we're going to pipe the frosting here in the center. And I'm going to put the other cake on top of it. So this is going to hold my cakes together, but it's also going to give me a bigger hole to put my ganache in.
There we go. So we have there, and we're going to put a little more gnosh in here. So we have like a very full center. And this was the top one. There we go. All right, so here you have the cake. Uh, we put the frosting on it, and let's see what the center looks like. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Take a look at that. That's a good cake right there. And guys, this pan is not just for sweet. Let's check out the savory. All right, guys, so you saw how it works with the centerpiece, the secret center. Now we're gonna do a secret in each bite. So we got here the cornbread mix, and we're just doing it simple, like the directions that you get on the box. A cornbread, the milk, A simple cornbread mix, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So the oven is preheating and we're going to grease and dust the pan. All right, so there's our pan. We're going to put this batter in there. And here's the thing, we're going to put the centerpiece now, this part you already saw, the centerpiece, so here is the other one. This is a secret in every bite, and we're gonna grease this one as well, and it will also go on the bottom of the pan. All right, we have it greased, and now we're gonna pour our batter in there. Okay, so we have our cornbread mix in there, and we are going to do the cornbread with sloppy joe bites. So there you go, it's ready to go in the oven. We're gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. So we took it out of the oven, we let it cool for about a minute, and now we're gonna flip it and see what it looks like. All right, let's see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Let's see how it comes out. So here we go. I'm using the cake tester and releaser just to release the edges before pulling that one out. Oh no, it slipped, it's hot. Oh. There we go. So here you go. We're gonna let it cool for a little bit and then put our chili in it. All right, so here we have it. We are going to now uh, make it delicious. So I have the medium scoop and I'm putting a scoop in each of those little holes. Whoop. And fill in the middle part. There you go. And then you garnish it however you please. Uh, put a couple jalapenos on there, some shredded cheese, maybe some onions. But there you go. The secret center cake pan is not only for desserts. There you have a savory dish. All right guys, there you have it. See what we did? If you like the pan, make sure you check out the link there so you can find it. If you like what we put out here, if you like the content of our videos, you make sure you subscribe and follow our channel. You guys have a great day.